Welcome to Lolita's VL. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Uchechi, a Lagos based content creator and YouTuber. As I've pulled through womanhood, um, still in my early 20s, right, I come to realize that a very big part of my experiences, a very big part of me growing every day and learning every day is the part of dealing with negative self talk. Negative self talk. Like, I feel um, each and every one of us, we don't talk about it as much. We don't talk about it openly as much as we should. But we have this self-talk. It's it's in it, like it's inside us, but it's just there. And this negative self-talk just has its way of, you know, impacting on our decisions, impacting on our work, impacting on a lot of things that are really, really vital to our survival, our day-to-day -day survival, really, really vital to our work, what we do, and our relationship with people, right? So this is just outlining six ways that I have thought about, six ways, this is me highlighting six ways that we can stop negative self-talk. I just finished filming um, a YouTube shorts or reels. It's going to be on Instagram, it's going to be on YouTube here, um, detailing in a nutshell what my 20s is like right now. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it could be overwhelming, right? But we still need to speak positive words into ourselves. We still need to tell ourselves that we can overcome. <laughs> so um, six ways to overcome or six, six ways to stop negative self-talk. One, you need to remind yourself how far you've come. It's very important. You can never remind yourself enough. Every day you've come far. For the next 24 hours, after the next 24 hours, you think about your last 24 hours, my dear. You have come, you have, <laughs> you have been through a lot. You are coming from a lot. <laughs> so I think you need to constantly remind yourself of how far you've come. Two, I think we need to always remember that feelings are not facts. That is why they are feelings. Feelings are not facts. Not at all. You feel it here, you feel it here, it's not a fact. Doesn't guarantee that it's a fact. The third one, I, the third one, you need to accept that nobody is perfect. You need to see. In fact, that brings me to my fourth one, right? Stop comparing yourself to others. First of all, accept that nobody is perfect. And by the time you accept that nobody is perfect, trust me, you would find yourself seeing yourself as the best there is, as the best version of yourself. So there's no room for comparison. There's no room for envy. There's no room for jealousy and stuff like that. You don't get to compare yourself to other people. Now, this one, celebrate your wins, celebrate your victories, no matter how small, no matter how big, keep celebrating. You achieved something today, you did not achieve something today. The fact that you are alive last one, the fact that you survived the 24 hours, especially if you're living in this part of our world, Nigeria, please celebrate your small wins, celebrate your victories. Period. And last but not the least, please give yourself the same grace you give to other people. I find out that we as humans, or especially we as young people, we tend to forgive other people more than you forgive yourself you tend to allow people make mistakes and then okay give them the excuse that they made they made a mistake and give them room to make up for that mistake but for yourself you're not giving yourself the same grace you're giving to other people you're not giving yourself the same you know free hand you're giving to other people i think you deserve it i think you should work on it because giving yourself the same grace you are giving other people helps you go back to the drawing board, helps you correct your wrongs, helps you right your wrongs, and helps you look forward to the future. Doesn't make you feel like, oh, oh well, this is the end. Like, I did this, it's, it's bad. I did it like this and it came out bad and that is how it's going to be. No, it gives also helps for room for improvement, self-improvement, and also better productivity in whatever you do. And that's all period, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Please don't forget to subscribe and <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. I give this video a thumbs up.